could be dangerous. I've got three lines out and I'm going to drop a jig down. Fish in the midwater, fish on the bottom. Let's see if I can jig something up. One of these lines has got to go off. Yep. Oh. There's fish hitting on the way up then. It could be schoolies or tuna. I'm going to try and hook the bigger fish. That's what I want. Yep, there's one. Oh, that's not a bad fish. <laughs> that had hit pretty hard. What have we got here? Oh, double hook up. That's what we've got. Oh. Okay. Let's try and keep this tension on. That's the livey that's gone up as well. <laughs> Righto. I think I might have lost that one. This one's a good fish. Oh, there's a big school under the boat. Okay, I'm gonna try and keep this fish on this side of the boat. This one's still hooked up. Yep. Okay, if I can keep the tension on both these lines, then I will get both these fish. I'm gonna keep it away from that line. That one's still got weight on it. Come on. Come around this way. Oh yeah, it's a good Spanish. Oh, I've got some obstacles to get around here. Oh, right, I've got to gaff this fish now. Oh, not the greatest gaff shot. I slipped on the floor. Get this fish in the boat. Leave him there. Oof. Oh, and fight this other one. It's chaotic. Fish on the deck. I've got to get these other lines in. It's either a Spanish or a shark. Oh, that one's been bitten off, which is usually a sign that a school of Spanish came through. I don't know what I've got here, but it's got some serious size to it. Yeah, this may be a shark. It is a shark. Oh, we want to get rid of this fish. Ah, that's a shark. Spanish mackerel. They can grow up to two and a half meters in size and a whopping 70 kilos. This is a typical school size. They can be found in Asianic waters. Australia, Africa, Middle East, Definitely one of our favourite sports fish to catch out here.